Hey guys, so you read the title. This is an unboxing of, I think, another RetroBit controller. It's an N64 controller that's wireless, and this one's supposed to have rumble. It was a limited edition that I managed to grab, like, from another company before they sold out. I'm pretty sure it's a limited edition. So, um, I got it because it was like 45 bucks, and I thought, why not? Now, we're on a bit of a time crunch because I only have 17 minutes in the SD card, so let's go. I'm only opening it from this end because my address is on the other end. Let's see here. I'm trying hard not to scratch up the box since these controllers usually have nice boxes. That was right, this box looks nice. There we go. Oh, comes with stickers. I've been collecting a lot of these like vinyl stickers people send you, and at this point I don't know what the heck to do with them. Here it is. So not only does this work with the original controller, um, N64, but it has um, USB bits so you can use it on your PC. As you can tell, this does not look anything like the N64 controller. Um, it's a redesign to be more ergonomic, I guess. There's another controller that's kind of shaped like this with the D-pad in the center. The analog stick a little bit more down. Uh, those apparently are like worshipped by some uh, speedrunners. But this has all of the bits and bobs and I thought I'd give it a, sh a chance and a shot. And there's another sticker. <laughs> Okay, Castlemania Games is actually where I got this from. It's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller. Most wireless controllers are like this. It has kind of a GameCube style uh, analog stick, which I, I like. The other retro bit I have has a smooth analog stick. Uh, dual Z can triggers. Oh, so you can press Z on either side. Uh, buttons. This is the ultra edition of this tribute because I it's supposed to have feedback to it. Um, you can use a memory card in it and all that good stuff. But where does it mention feedback? Okay, way down here in the tiny sex, it says built-in rumble pack. So we'll have to take a look at that. And here's the social media for Retrobit. Let's take a look at this. There is tape. There we go. This is kind of different than the other retro bit box. I think the other one was smaller and definitely more colorful, but the the this one's black, so that makes sense. All right, here comes everything. We got Type C rechargeability, although recharging the, a bunch of controllers has proven difficult for me. That went flying. This is nice and smooth. It has a light, I think, on it. This is for I guess using it for computer games. As a Mac owner, I don't really dabble too far into computer games. What is this? Oh wow, the other RetroBit controller came with like a really pretty vinyl manual. But this looks like it has all the details you will need. And I think it's in French. Okay, that was going to be Spanish. Here is what you plug into your GameCube. I believe it adjusts, maybe. Could be wrong. This is just a sticker telling you to remove the sticker. Oh, you have to select the setting for memory or rumble. I don't, why would you put a rumble pack into this? It would just make your console vibrate, wouldn't it? It also has a micro USB slot. I don't know what all that would be for. Put this sticker in here for now. All right, time for the controller. Okay, it's still much lighter than the other one, or just as light as the other one. The other one I felt was pretty light. However, it does, like when you're holding it, even though it's really light, the other one felt hollow, this one doesn't. I think these grips are a lot more like the GameCube, so it's like really comfortable. The analog stick is almost exactly like the GameCube, but it seems to... Like, you could get caught in the edges maybe a bit more down at the bottom. That feels sticky for some reason. Up here feels great. Yeah, I think it's just how sharp the grooves are. Oh my gosh, the D-pad's really good too. You can feel... Well, I think they really upgraded from the last controller in the D 
D-pad and analog stick department. Um, we have L and R and then Z. These are all like normal buttons like on the PS2. These go down slightly. I didn't like the Z buttons on the other one because they're really squishy. These are slightly better. Yeah, so, oh, these are like micro switched. I have no idea why they would do that. And I guess probably right up in here is the rumble pack. Oh, I turned it on. Or when you press a button, I guess it lights up. Just for reference, here's the other retro bit, uh, retro fighter. And yeah, the buttons don't, this just really feels like they took a bunch of parts off the GameCube. Like, it is exactly the same. Um, but it has a smooth analog stick. It does... I like how it's easier to roll it around. This one, again, it has more sharp angles for some reason. And the D-pad is really flat, although it's... It's a different style. This one is like, like a brand new NES controller or something. It's very, very risen up, too. I like it. This one's very flat, um, but, you know, it still work. Buttons are way far down. Um, pretty much the same weight, although I do have a memory card in here. Um, but as you see, the, the Z buttons are like a freaking PS3 or PS4 controller Z buttons. Um, so, Z used to be in the middle of the controller and easily clicked down. So, I like... I like these more. And the the grips on it are almost like a PS5, um, but like a miniature PS5 controller. Um, these are more rounded. I like these a lot more. It's hard to tell, but these are just more grippy. <laughs> this is wired though, and I'm not sure if they still make these, but it was a good quality alternative to the normal N64 controllers that just like the analog stick broke. This is probably my new favorite, at least for how comfortable it is. I'm going to go plug it in and make sure it all works good. But, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. Hopefully it does have feedback because it's just so light. Like, how is there even a battery in this? Okay, so I have Super Mario 64 hooked up. Uh, I'm not sure if the controller is connected. There is a light on that thing. Um... So that didn't do anything. Did that do something? No. Maybe I should read the manual. Or maybe it's just out of battery. <laughs> oh no, I held start. It's blinking. Will either of you do something? Okay, so there's a button on there that you hold. I guess it blinks faster. And then when you turn on this, it automatically connects. You turn it on by holding start. Simple enough. When I pressed start to turn it on, it already took me to the... Uh, the file menu. Now I am actually one of those people who um, isn't the biggest player of Mario, but uh, the analog stick seems to control pretty well. Uh, there's no like, no angle I can go at where he doesn't walk slowly. The only problem again that I'm noticing is when I'm rolling the analog stick, once I get to the bottom and the left, it just feels sticky. Like, like rubbing against it feels off. Maybe that could be worked out, but uh seem to be doing pretty good. Alright, so I can do the giant back jump. I can whoop. I can punch apparently. Once I get up to speed, I can do like that belly slide thing. Um these are really nice just to quickly press. This is so much better than like the R2 uh PS or Dreamcast feeling button that was on the old controller, at least for N64 games. C buttons are do the work of C buttons. It really, all the buttons feel like GameCube buttons. Sorry, I'm not paying attention because I just realized I don't feel any feedback. So this is interesting. I went to load a game because it turns out Super Mario 64 is the only game I have that doesn't have rumble in it. But uh, when I went to see if I could load something, everything here says ready to rumble. I just find that interesting because I'm using this rumble controller. Did Is that a level in this game? Because that's a huge coincidence. No, I think it is something to do with the rumble pack because there's... I'm pretty sure that's tonic trouble, you would think. What is this? People in the comments, tell me what the heck I'm looking at. Anyways, I'm just going to start a new game. <laughs> Can someone shoot me? I want to know if it rumbles. So as little as I know about Banjo-Kazooie, I put it in because it's supposed to be on rumble. It turns out that switch where you select memory and rumble 
has to be set to rumble for the controller to rumble. It has nothing to do with the packs you put in it. So anyways, now it's set to rumble. And if I could hit something, okay, that doesn't rumble. But when I took damage, it did rumble. And it rumbles like up in here a little bit. So it gives some feedback. Not as much as modern games, but yes, this replaces the rumble pack. I don't know if you can do a memory card and a... Or, memory pack and a rumble pack at the same time but you can choose between the two the same way you could do with the old controllers as you would either put in one pack or the other so there's that it seems to all check out the controller is really cool and it connects the same way ps3 does with the lights down there and you just press start and it automatically connects once it's synced up so i really like it